When 2K announced the level up, I was most excited about CJ McCollum. Kyle Culver, yes, he's supposed to be good, but CJ McCollum, if he's actually good, he's gonna be the best budget card so far, I think. And the reason I need him is because I still have Devin Booker from season two or three, I believe, but I still have him in my secondary unit. So if I connect CJ McCollum with Steph Curry, I feel like that'll be a dangerous combo. Um, so far when I played it for him, uh, trying to Evo him up, uh, the shot is pretty glitchy. Um, he doesn't have much of a fadeaway shot nor a post, which is fine because I'm gonna put it out the one spot anyways. I feel like for the shooting, I'm definitely gonna have to give this more of a seven, probably an eight. Um, I really like this shot. It's really hard for me when I'm facing the when I'm facing directly to the baseline, but when I'm on the side, it's really easy to time for me for dribbling. I think I'm gonna also give him an eight um, just because he has very interesting sigs. His size up is really nice. And then especially when you can escape out of it too. And then on defense, I'm gonna actually have to put it a six as well. Um, he's not gonna stop everyone on the perimeter. He's not gonna block everything. He's not gonna steal everything, but it's gonna be a solid point guard for me in terms of other, uh, other guards. The thing with him is that he is undersized. He's only 6'3", which is like having Curry at the one but I just want him to defend the blow by. I mean, I have the other guys to kind of defend for me. So let's get into my team. Let's see what he does for me. So let's get into, we're all white. Oh my God, that is terrible for everyone. So CJ McCollum is taking um, Luca's spot just for now, just to see what he does in terms of the player review. Shot is easy, yeah. That step back, I don't like the animation. Don't get me wrong. Open three. I told you, that, that shot is so easy to time on the sides. In real life, I really like CJ McCollum. I thought him at the backcourt with, um, with Damian Lillard back in their days were so dangerous. Uh, I'm really glad he got a card. 2K did him kind of dirty with, good pull up. 2K did him kind of dirty with not giving him a pink diamond just because I, I think he's worth a pink diamond. He was an all-star at one point, um, especially when his uh, Portland days. We just don't see a lot of him because, decent shot. We don't see a lot of him because it's, he's what I consider in a smaller market team, but his SIGs are, are pretty decent. Gonna size him up real quick. Oh, easy midi. Yeah, that size up combo is really nice, especially because you have two, two ways to explode out of it. Yeah guys, so you know how we do it. I mean, the first half is gonna be ball hog mode. The second half is gonna be him more integrated into the office, trying to create open shots for people. Um, those timestamps are gonna be in the bio. So whichever interests you more, please go ahead and click on that. If you wanna watch the whole thing, please do. But otherwise, let's get into it. Straight at you. DJ. <sighs> Easy blow by. Oh, that was wide open. Okay, so I still need to get more familiar with the shot, but I mean the SIG, the opening, it was all fine. More than I could want. Oh! He's tired, he's tired. So, I'm gonna find the cutter. Let's go, CJ. See, but it's when you put curry on me. Like, that's so easy for me. See, as, as soon as I could see the side of the shot, like where he puts the ball up to his chin, then it's easy to, uh, to time. Aside from that, aside from that straight on, it, it's kind of difficult to time. That was the slowest drive to the paint. I mean, one, he's tired. He's, he's Gatorade CJ McCollum right now. But also the way he closed out was so slow. <laughs> in the middle of, in the middle of the forest, amongst all the trees. Yeah, I expect uh, offensive highlights, not defensive highlights. You see? So I like John, the starting five, but he's 
he's not as crafty as I would like him. That's why I like Luca to be with him. So having this CJ card is really going to do that for me because, yeah, see, he just goes at the rim. He, he doesn't really care. He, he's crafty enough to make it work. That's why I like him in real life because he's very efficient in the way he scores. Easy push shot. It looks like a push shot. I know in real life it's a little bit more of a hinge. Easy blow by. It is slow. It's like having Luca, but it, it's efficient. And like, I don't care if you're slow as long as you make them. Oh, good block. Find CJ. Transition. I don't think I've ever scored with anyone as much. I, I really like KD, but he's a problem at that one spot because who's going to guard him? Is it going to be Luca? Like, the new Luca ever? Like, who. Maybe uh, Drew Holiday might be able to guard him. But I mean, at the end of the game, McCollum, 40 points. This is ball hog mode, so I was just kind of testing him to his absolute limits. I, I wasn't being efficient, I wasn't doing anything. But man, can this guy go in the lane, like especially against other point guards. I mean, who's gonna guard him? If he's at the two spot, maybe other people get involved. Maybe other small forwards can guard him, but he's a problem, I'm telling you. And I kind of knew that coming in. All right, so next is, actual team mode. We're actually going to try to integrate him into the offense. So let's get into that right now. Okay. Good dish. That was good. That was a good find. And one. See, this kind of does change my offense, mainly because I'm putting a lot of pressure on his one which is Gilbert Arenas. I don't know if Gilbert Arenas can guard that well, but it's making him defend it. Oh, 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 oh. I usually score with a bunch of uh, bigs. Oh, good steal. Here comes CJ, Euro. Money, tried it. There we go. There we go, dunk stick. <laughs> the animations on Dumar this year are crazy. That was that regular size up. I like that size up so much. Good shot. I really like his size up because I don't have to do any combos. It, it does two fakes in two directions. Gatorade CJ McCollum and he still made it. Three. <laughs> I feel like when, when you see a team, right, when it does the little animations, you see KD and Curry and you say, all right, that's, that's probably where most of the points are gonna come in. CJ McCollum, you're like, like no, no, it's okay. It's like when the when the Drew Holiday was in um, when we first got him. People were like, no, okay, he, he's probably there just to play defense. No, this guy's meant to score. Like, if you thought D'Angelo Russell was meant to score, like instead of facilitating, the same thing here. Like, I I have so many more options now. Oh look, he has Demar. I wonder if he likes Demar. Was he was he waiting for the pass? Is that why he did that? I wasn't even looking until he ran. Oh. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, CJ makes it. 29. 20, and and, and I, I have to admit, I was kind of going for him, but that was the strategy in terms of playing the offense through the team. I know people are not going to pay attention to him. The cat is out. He can score and like he can reliably score. I like the way he goes in the paint. He's very crafty. I love all that. Uh, the only thing I can't get yet is that moving fader because his momentum stops. But overall, 29 points, five rebounds from a point guard, which is pretty decent, I guess. I, I wouldn't like him rebounding so much, but so be it. Two assists, not really running the offense, kind of just shooting. Um, but he's 11 for 22, 50%. He scored all his threes, scored all his free throws. 
What more do you want? But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next pack drop. Thanks.